everyone, Nigel here again. Um, another little review for you. This has just come in the post today uh, from from Master. These are the um, the gun barrels for the Avro Lancaster, and the part number is AM thirty two one one three, and it's part of their Air Master series. And in this set, you're getting uh, eight off uh, Browning three hundred three cal gun barrels for your. HK models Lancaster or indeed any 30 second scale aircraft that use this gun. Um, so what have we got? We've got a, a, a small packet here which is a uh, just a basically a plastic bag with a card insert, card over the top, set of instructions on the back and all stapled together. Um, I got these from Plast Model in Poland. I actually bought these on, ordered them on Christmas Eve, 24th December, and they sent them that day. I then had notification to say they'd left Poland on the 28th of December, and it took Royal Mail until today, which is the 15th of January, to get them here. So, uh, yeah, I know they actually left Poland on the 28th of December, so they've been in the country, in this country, for for over two weeks but that does include the new year so i guess we have to give them a break so i'll get this open now and um and we'll move along and, uh, and see what we've got in the packet so we've got a set of instructions our header card gun barrels themselves and a bag with the card insert very tight fit struggling to get that out <laughs> Um, so if I have a quick look at the instructions, single sided, small piece of paper, was this A6 or something I guess. Um, so you can see what it's included, we've got 8 spacers, 8 barrels and 8 cooling jackets. Um, and it's telling us here what we need to do is take the HK models gun barrel, or gun breech should I say, gun body, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you need a 1.2 millimeter diameter drill and drill around two millimeters deep into the actual plastic and then just press these in with a dab of super glue um, the beauty of this is you can actually completely assemble your turrets finish the model off paint it and then put these in afterwards and you can either paint them with um, some black paint or blacken them i think i'm not sure if it works, works on brass but uh yeah so there we go very very simple the, the parts are beautifully bagged. They're in a little bag with a top opening part, but each individual department is, uh, or compartment, sorry, is sealed off. So what we'll do, so we can have a good look at these, I'll just, um, I'll just cut down one side, and then I can hopefully just get, uh, I can hopefully just get one of each part out. So we've got in here, that's one of our spacers. Then we've got the actual barrels themselves. And then we've got here a cooling jacket. So you can see how gorgeous they are. They're absolutely tiny. There's some beautiful machining on the ends of them. And, uh, yeah, so what should, what we'll do now is assemble one. So we've got the cooling jacket going on first. This doesn't want to slide over. You're obviously going to get a um, tiny amount of burring in these, which will need to be cleaned up. Um, so that's that's how they look once they're built and then obviously that that turn bit at the end is just a spacer to um to take it up to the right diameter to go into the uh, breach of the hk models so there we go um all in all well worth the money um in my opinion they're about 20 quid 20 euros wherever you are in the world um and and well worth the money i think and they'll they'll add greatly to the detail of the of the part of the kit there you go guys here's a comparison of the plastic molded kit parts versus the the master barrels and if you look at the ends 
you can see the sort of benefit you're getting using these uh, using these brass parts instead. So there we go, guys. That's that. Um, hope you've liked this little review. Keep your eyes open. There'll be lots more Lancaster-related stuff, including the work I'm doing myself, and also the um, the aftermarket stuff as it comes online. So I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.